hello all so we'll be discussing adc that is analog to digital converters so very first type is counter type analog to digital converters so let me draw the diagram logical diagram of it so so this is a diagram of it uh, let me complete so it is counter is 8 bit counter so we can say it is divided by 256 counter and this is d to a converter that is opposite of this adc this is a staircase reference voltage what is staircase will be clear in a minute this is staircase reference voltage this is comparator opm this is comparator this is clock this is our latch which is 8 bit latch and this is the output of our latch 1 2 3 4 8 8 bit output which is nothing but our required digital output and this is the control control unit this is the clear And all this are applied sorry d5 will go q4 with d4 q3 with d3 q2 with d2 q1 with d1 and q0 with d0 okay and all of this are connected to input to this latch clear and this is our output that is 8 bit output digital so that's all about this uh, logical diagram now let me explain that how it works so analog input is applied to non-inverting terminal of an opm which is comparator and the staircase reference voltage is being applied here now initially assume that initially let's say this is reset that is our counter is reset so what happens all this inputs are zero so output will be zero and so what comparator do whenever the analog input is higher than this uh, input that is the other one then it will produce high signal and else it will produce low signal so uh, initially this is low and this is high so it will give logic one and that's why this end gate is enabled because it is connected with clock and this counter will start counting from zero and it will continue to count now uh, as per the s it will count uh, all these inputs are simultaneously applied over here that is uh, to digital to analog converter okay so and this voltage is what is the output this is the output of this this analog output obviously so this output is taken as a reference voltage again to the comparator which will be compared with the analog input and accordingly we will get output high or low whether it is high or low accordingly compared to this terminal whether this terminal has voltage high or low depending on that we will get output and depending on that our end is enabled and our counter works now what happens is that uh, whenever analog input is greater than this DSS output then high signal is produced else low now comparator serves as an active low end of conversion signal the comparator output serves as active low end of conversion signal what does it mean it will be clear so initially we have assumed that uh, let is uh, the counter is reset so output is zero so this is this will produce logic 1 and n gate is enabled so this clock will pass that is transmit through this counter and counter advances through its binary states now this binary states are converted again to its reference voltage so the counter continue to advance from one stage to next stage and produces successive larger steps in reference voltage so as the count number of count will increase up counter 
so what will happen as the count increase depending on that obviously this reference voltage will increase because this is the input to ds and this is the output so output is directly proportional to digital input it is analog output is directly proportional to this digital input so what happens is that as this increase so our reference voltage steps will increase and when this step that is the reference voltage staircase will be uh, equal to this analog input then what happens then this comparator output will be low and so this end gate is disabled and so no clock pulse can pass through this counter and so this counter will remain uh, in the state which was earlier that is just before this inversion happens that is just before that this two becomes equal now what this control logic will do the control logic loads this binary count that is the last binary count okay that is a count it has reached uh, that is proportional to this analog input which is the highest which was the highest one uh, it loads it into a latch and depending on that and that latch is being outputted and for next input after it will load into this latch what will do control logic will clear so that it can convert uh, this that so that it can be used as uh, the binary counter again for the next analog input which is being applied and the cycle repeats itself clear so this is all about this working process now some few terminologies that is resolution the resolution of this dac is same as of this adc is same as that of dac which is this dac which is being used in this adc note that this this is adc which is being using one dac in it okay so and one more thing that this resolution can be it can be thought of as built in error and is also called quantization error and it is given by that is resolution equals to full scale reading upon 2 raised to n where n is the number of bits now what's the disadvantage the disadvantage is that the conversion times depends on obviously this conversion time that is from analog to digital depends on the magnitude of this analog input so for larger inputs it is larger than analog inputs more time will it will take to convert this analog input to its digital output so more number of clocks pass through this counter and therefore larger will be the time required and also one more thing is that for each conversion what happens counter has to start from the reset only okay so uh, it is something like this that let's say this is our analog input so what will be the output this is our axis so what will be the, it will start from here and after being reaching to this this is taller steps staircase that's why over here it is written as staircase so for next cycle it has to start from reset only so again to go to reset more time will be required and again it will reach and again that drop down to reset so this is called counter is reset every time and again it will go like staircase and again after that it will drop so this is again the disadvantage that counter has to start from reset only again and again and again the same thing more time will be re required for the conversion and so this is the disadvantage now from next lecture we will discuss one more type of counter which is called tracking type ADC.